Uh, this episode could really mean anything. Just call next, like next. What? What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again. High Q Season Two, Episode Sixteen. Let me write that down. Last episode, we had the first set win against Josenji, which they had a new motivation and fire under them, thanks to Misaki at the end of their, at the end of last episode, which we also had some new motivation and fire, just because our boys just want to win. Anytime the enemies get hyped up, we get hyped up just to equal them or do better, you know. So with, without. Any further ado, let's hop into this episode. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to all the shows I'm watching currently and in the future, consider checking out that Patreon down below. Um, if you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to follow me on my socials, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Dapper Darius. Let's hop into this Q Season 2, Episode 16, called Next. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, he was like, all right, you know, you do you. True, true. So that's the definition of playing freely. Okay. Nice. I like that. That was a good definition by Tsukushima. They have the rules at which you should do in these situations, but he was able to do something completely different and it worked out because of his skill. They're just going for the receive. Yeah, we've seen this before from teams. Better to just go for the receive. Ooh, good save. Terushima. Oh, I thought we were going to save that right back. God damn it, guys. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I could see that. You gotta slam it so hard that they can't even receive it. Same thing. Okay. That was a good spot. He's able to snipe it. Good, good. Especially with the time they're able to gather in the midair nest, thanks to the new quick, he's so, he's able to look so much more freely, you know? Right there. Ooh! <laughs> Oh, we haven't done the new quick yet? I thought all those were the new quicks. Oh, I know the new, yeah, yeah, the, the, the faint. How did I already forget that? Daichi's over here letting me know I'm an idiot. Which is a good way to play. Love the dubs, forget about the L's. That's out. Yes, that's us. Right? You hate to see it, but you love to see it. It was a good game, Jozenji. They definitely do. But in this tournament, and these qualifiers, 1L and you're out of here. This is Misaki's last time being here, last tournament. Oh, uh, they, they ended up, they got a new Yachi. That's cool, Runa. <laughs> He's a good manager. That's one thing you'll always notice with like all these teams is that unless they're a special one-off case and you can see even when she got recruited into the team that's dope she she was her own yachi you know all these teams are so appreciative of each other you know they're there for the l's they're there for the ups and downs you know they're like a they're like their own little unique little family and no i'm not tearing up i got some in my eyes i swear oh <laughs> uh. Congratulate him, Aune. Oh, the typical rivalry speech. Oh, that was a speech from Aune, all right. Whole sentence. <laughs> mm. 
Probably was. Hinata's like his main rival, you know. Ever Wukanon? Takeru? Takeru. What is this, his family? That'd be cool to have a family like that. Alright, another stepping stone. Next, moving on to the next team. Maybe that's it. Wakutani. Okay, this is going to be a little more of an issue. Oh, wow. That's a big compliment. Okay, okay. So keep cool. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> the determination on everyone's face. I love it. Karasuno, fight! This is a good ass family, bro. Like, they're more loud than some schools, you know? Some of the school's audiences are quieter than these guys. Okay. Little determined greeting right there. Neighborhood. I said high school. Oh, my psycho is back. Oh, my God. I'm so glad to see my wife. Anytime, baby. <laughs> Yachi's jealous. Hey, watch it, Yachi. That's my girl. <laughs> Good, good. Getting that momentum, that first point early is so big. People are shocked. Yeah, look at that quick. Hell yeah, I like the respect for him. I like that. That's some, that's some honorableness right there. Yeah, they really don't. I won't lie to you. Yeah. True. That is exactly that when you think about it. They have those. <laughs> I love that. Kenma and fucking Oikawa. Two intellectual geniuses. That's <laughs> like someone telling you you're a celebrity to Hinata. That's probably the biggest thing he's ever felt. <laughs> he did hype them all up. That's true. Daichi is really that guy, bro. I love him. Oh, he's just, just like Hinata, or he's good at doing the, I don't know what that's called, a wipe. That's, I need to write that down. Wiping is so, yeah. Just like you were doing, it's really good. Takeru. No wonder he's similar to Hinata, but in my opinion, he has better basics. Like the receives and stuff like that. Wow, I like Takeru a lot. So fast. There we go. We're not losing it. Not losing momentum. Not losing energy. Keeping this shit up. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Do what you can, you know? True. We still have our big tank of a man bun Asahi. Hell yeah. You're gonna need more than that. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what a good call back to the iron wall. Nice kill. Is that how you get pineapple head to 
to do better. That's a good motivation. <laughs> oh god. In a Jurassic Park, okay. Okay, I guess with all those siblings, you know how to, yeah, if you're the owner of a zoo, you know how to deal with the animals. Yep, okay. I like that. That's a good reason, especially I have a few siblings myself, you know. Oh, Nishinoya and Daichi with the wife save. Oh. I heard that crack off rip and I, oh, I thought he broke like an arm or a limb. Oh my, bro. Oh, <sighs> I'll be honest, they referenced making, but that wasn't even like a wild play. Like when Hinata had his thing episodes ago when they were talking about, yo, you can't like, but I guess it was subconscious. It was similar to the, because when Hinata did his and he ran into Asahi, they're like, bro, you cannot do that because you will seriously get injured. We cannot have that. But Daichi, he was... He's he's the one who's always so attuned and and crazy with his reflex. Oh, I cannot believe he did not notice Tanaka. He was just so focused and immersed on trying to get that ball over. He knew that rally was so. It, so I I'll be honest, I really didn't even look. With the celebration, we had to have gotten that point, which is really good. But all that is just dead in the water now that, cause like, I would much. And this sounds crazy. I would much rather have had him like break a finger or break an arm, cause I know that can heal in like six, six weeks. You know, which that's still so long. But like, he'd be done anyway. Damn it, bro. Daichi's out. Daichi's done, bro. I was just saying how much I love seeing Daichi and how much we don't get enough Daichi time and how like, how he is literally so. What's the word I'm looking for? Unre irreplaceable. He's an irreplaceable component of this team. And he gets an injury in the most important qualifying tournament we could have been playing in. Oh my god. I don't blame him at all. Even though, like, because he was just so focused on winning. You know, oh my god. I can't. I don't even want to watch IQ anymore. I might not watch the next episode. I might be done after that one. I'm obviously just joking, but damn. Like the picture I have it stuck on right here is Kageyama in the in the ending Kageyama in like a like a pissed off stance and that's the stance I'm in, bro. Jesus, bro. This is, all right, I gotta go, guys. Man, I'm actually depressed now. Have a good day, guys. Oh man, Daichi's. Oh man, I'm heated.